All right, y'all, so y'all remember when we tried to train our friend ChatGPT to predict lottery numbers? Well, brace yourselves, because I hit the jackpot, or did I? In this video, I'ma unravel the truth behind this experiment. We're gonna dive a little bit more into the world of AI and find out if it's really possible to predict the unpredictable. You do not wanna miss this. Right, so I ain't gonna waste y'all time. I'ma talk about the method I used. It was simple. I went into ChatGPT and I asked it, can you help me predict the next series of numbers if i give you the previous 10 numbers i want each number in the series compared to from the next series write me python script it returned me something like this, but this is actually too bare, it's too bare bones because what we need is to implement like a machine learning model, an algorithm learning model, right? So let's go ahead and ask it to do that. All right, and so boom, as you see here, it tells us that linear regression is the first machine learning algorithm it used, but I wanted to use something more complex for the lottery, right? So the beauty of Python is that it's got so many different libraries, right? There's so many Many different things built on type of Python that is crazy so boom we did something called a long short-term memory a type of recurrent neural network might be needed and then boom it tells you where to place your numbers in right so the next thing is I went to the Powerball website right because one thing I learned from the very last time way before AI was out when I was studying how to crack the code of winning the lottery I noticed that they have every single winning number in the history of the lottery right so I figured that type of data would be enough for my machine because when I did it I tried to analyze this data by myself see if I can notice patterns like I believe the lottery is drawn on Wednesday Saturday stuff like that so boom is there a pattern with the third number on the third Wednesday of a month or whatever the case may be and so I figured boom now that we got AI and machine learning it could analyze all of that right so and so I took it into a code editor like Visual Code Studio I inserted I inserted this string of numbers which I got from the website and it'll tell you like where to put this code in even chat GPT will write that out for you right so when you run that code boom it gave me back some numbers right here so let's get to the actual result drum roll and it did not work and the flat honest answer is because of things like randomness and probability so we're gonna ask chat GPT is it possible to predict lottery numbers Furthermore, the answer to this question will kind of blow you away because it pretty much says lottery systems use complex algorithms, which is which is pretty odd because if it's completely random, then how is there some sort of algorithm, right? But it says it uses randomization techniques to ensure that every number has an equal chance of being drawn. For example, many use a combination of a random number generator and a physical draw like a ball machine and such systems predicting the outcome were required knowing the exact state of machine in the algorithm at the exact moment of the draw which is effectively impossible furthermore if the lottery was predictable it would represent a significant security flaw in the lottery system this is why lottery organizations put effort into ensuring unpredictability and fairness in their draws now here's where i feel personally attacked the belief that the lot that past lottery results can help predict future results is a type of gambler's fallacy whatever that means the odds of any given number sequence drawn remain the same for every draw regardless of what numbers have come up in the past however it's important to note that while you can't predict which numbers will come up you can strategize about which numbers to pick to potentially maximize your winnings in the event that you do win. For example, choosing less popular numbers like those over 31 because many people play dates could mean fewer people split the prize if those numbers are drawn, but this strategy does not increase your chances of winning in the first place. But so I'm not done. I'm not done chasing it because I've found a lot of sketchy language in here, right? So I'm gonna go over how I can theoretically improve this. And at the same time, I'm gonna ask it you gave me pride the numbers generated through algorithm code were wrong is it better for me to continuously play these numbers 
or should I get a new set which has a greater chance? So what this pretty much says in short is pretty much saying that there is not a wrong or right way to play them as far as if it's continuous or if you need new numbers every time. I honestly got this from a guy that I used to work with when I was 19 who played the lottery for 20 years and never hit the big jackpot, but did hit a couple hundred thousands here and there. And his theory was that you play the same numbers for a set amount of time, you're bound to hit on those numbers and it's better than switching it up. How can this improve, right? One thing we could do is do a larger data set, right? So instead of taking 10 numbers and pasting it in, you can download a CSV file. You can open this CSV file. And so we see here what the titles are. And this is bro, 2010 all the way to 2023. So this is a lot more data. So we know columns, columns E through K are the numbers we're looking for. So we could go to chat GPT and say, hey, can you update the code to run from a CSV file and take columns E through K into account to predict the next number? And so we could input that code. As you see, I replaced the location of where my file is and you can do that same thing. And here's what I'll do for you. I will make this file available for you to download so that you can run this code yourself. Go download your own CSV file. Outside of using a larger data set, I would say, are there more complex machine learning libraries? And so boom, it kind of explains to us here that there are a bunch of different libraries, TensorFlow, PyTorch, Keras, XGBoost. I can remember the first time I did this, going through each and every one of these and kind of failing and spending hours just learning them. But even with those improvements, I don't want to set you up for failure because here's the thing, if we're really gonna take their word for it that it's completely random, then I don't think even a machine learning model can predict it. Now, with that said, I'm also not 100% sure that an AI has been surprising us every day. So I wouldn't be surprised if it can take 13 years worth of data and analyze all of that. But more importantly, this should also open our eyes to things that AI can do and things that we can use it to our advantage for, right? Because while the lottery is 100% random, stock prices, the stock market, isn't random there are factors that influence that right or even sports betting bro so you gotta subscribe to me and comment below if you want me to take y'all down that rabbit hole until next time rico gang i love y'all let's get it